Hey, welcome back. Riggs here. There is another snapshot just dropped today and it is huge. Uh, snapshot 20W06A and I'm just getting into it, but I, I just decided I wanted to start recording because it's very exciting. Um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of new blocks and I'll, I'll try to get into it all. But the, what I just discovered is this brand new tree, which is this, um, I, I put myself in, in survival mode, but it's a, one of these crimson fungi, which you're going to find in one of the new biomes, but it's a brand new wood, a crimson wood. And I was just making uh, some new planks and you can make now purple stairs. It's like, it's a brand new wood. It's, uh, it's, I am very excited. There is a whole bunch of new stuff. Okay. So now that I've calmed down a little bit, I've, uh, figured out a few things. They've added a couple new biomes. There's warped nylium forests or warped forests and then crimson forests. And they will have these different ground types, the nylium and crimson nylium. And then there you will find these different uh, fungi, which are the, the crimson fungi and then the warped fungi. And they will grow tall into these amazing blocks, which is the warped wart block and these these now green and purple wood types, which I'm loving. Uh, it's just it's just great. Um, some great new building blocks. There it is, warped planks. Uh, that looks great. It's sort of a whole new direction for it to go. And then the other thing that I uh, figured out is this uh, netherite is going to be difficult to find. It is uh, one second. Let me just let me just look at the uh, the notes here. Yeah, there's going to be ancient debris in the lower depths of the nether. It says mine at your own risk. So I got to check that out. But you will be able to make a brand new whole set of tier of gear, which is made out of netherite. And one of the many things that it has going for it is that it uh, will float in lava. So if you die in lava, it, it's not a full wipe of losing all your items, which is all right. So figured out the this ancient debris is what you're looking for in the depths of the nether. And then once you smelt that up, you get these netherite scraps. And if you combine netherite and gold uh, in the crafting bench, you get netherite ingots. And then you can start crafting, uh, uh, crafting up. Oh, that's interesting. Just one diamond pickaxe and a netherite ingot. So that's kind of how you, it's kind of an upgrade to the nether gear or the, uh, the uh, diamond gear. So just add some netherite to your diamond and you get uh, netherite. Plus the netherite armor looks amazing and there's knockback resistance as well. So that's pretty cool. Another thing they added is soul soil, which looks so much like soul sand. It almost uh, confused me, but I think if you light it on fire, look at that blue flame. That is so cool. Uh, and I guess there's some other things you can do with the, with the blue flame. So once you have soul soil, you can make these soul fire torches by basically just adding them to the normal torch recipe. And then once you have those, you can make these soul fire lanterns uh, using the normal lantern recipe, but you, then you get blue lanterns. So cool. Also, apparently if you bone meal netherrack, it says it will split and uh, spread nylon. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it will spread nylium. I was like, eh, it's not doing it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It'll spread it. It won't create it, but it'll spread it. That's neat. Okay, cool. So it seems that these shroom lights are only found naturally in the warped or the crimson biomes on those, uh, those fungi, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm not sad about, uh, some new light sources. So another new block is the weeping vine that will be found also naturally in the biomes. But uh, yeah, they hang downwards. Notice they're not off the side. They hang directly down. So that's kind of neat. Harvestable with uh, shears, just like normal vines and no crafting recipe uh, to be used with those. But yeah, I wanted to also show you the other wood types also have all their other little, you know, redstone components. I thought the doors were particularly interesting. This almost looks like it has bricks in it. And then this has vines. Uh, so neat. And uh, as I said, you know, whole new biomes in the nether, which I have to go explore in person. Um, but I wanted to at least get you the information about the new blocks. So many amazing things. Uh, well done, Mojang. Uh, I'm excited. So um, I'll be back with more information about the hoglins and the, the different biomes down there, <laughs> down there. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief, quick glance and I'll be back soon with more. Hope you guys are great. And until next time, Ben Riggs, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.